Bridget from Tornado Alley here. I'm just waiting until that guy walks away because I'm in my car and he probably thinks I'm crazy. Um, I am at the Dollar Tree in the parking lot. Epic haul right here. Probably the most I've ever spent at a Dollar Tree, but they had some special sale going on today. So if you spent more than $10, you got 10% off. So I made it out under $75. I usually try and keep it around 20 but the reason for going today was our first trip with the camper trailer is in less than two weeks. I think I have most of the basics, like key things you would need, like our camp stove and the trailer. Hopefully I can go pick that up this week. Um, and like camping gear. but. I posted in a Facebook group for helpful hints for camping and I said, the first time I went camping, I wish I had thought to bring blank and let people fill in the blank. And there was a lot on that list that made a lot of sense that I had not thought of. So I happened to stumble across a bunch of it at Dollar Tree. I also watched some other like Dollar Tree camping haul videos and um, someone else is pulling in now, pointing right at me and I'm talking to the car. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to try and be quick about it because it's a lot of stuff and nobody needs a 20 minute Dollar Tree haul video. So here we go. These are table clamps for um, when you have a tablecloth on a picnic table. I have a tablecloth and we'll see if these keep things from flying away. I got some Tupperware, a couple different sizes. I have, um, we have a small fridge in the camper. I thought these would fit probably nicely in there. And they're Betty Crocker brand, so it's not like they're Dollar Tree brand. But I'm hoping to prep a few things ahead of time so that I don't get frazzled and, and not end up eating or just eating s'mores and marshmallows the entire time. I did get these for Cora because I know she will eat them. And if we have some kind of emergency and I can't cook hot dogs on a fire, at least I can make those because we have a little microwave in the camper as well. Zip ties. Can't go wrong with zip ties. The whole camper could be held together with zip ties by the end of the trip. Who knows? I saw a suggestion for getting these um, sticky lint roller things for tick checks after you're outside all day hiking and you come back and shower and then you can just roll these over your clothes, over your body, whatever, to get tick, to grab ticks that have not attached yet. Self-explanatory. Our camper does not have a toilet, but we are not necessarily always close to the bathrooms. So we are getting, rigging up some kind of little emergency toilet for middle of the night stuff, because when it's just me and Cora, I'm not going to be like leaving her sleeping in the camper to go walk to the bathroom or if she's got, I usually have to take her around midnight to the bathroom anyway, so we will just have something nearby just in case. These I was excited to find, they are called sheet grippers. Um, our camper mattress is called like an RV full or RV bunk or something. It's not a standard size. So I got the mattress, but sheets for the mattress are not cheap so I ended up just buying some full sheets and they're gonna be a little big and these might help stretch it out and keep it in place because I'm cheating on keto today and I just really wanted Raisin Bran when I saw it I got some loofahs I don't like loofahs in real life but um, as far as camping, I think they're going to be more helpful for showering and drying out quickly at a camp shower as opposed to washcloths that I'm going to have to, like, I don't know. Reusing washcloths grosses me out, but reusing loofahs doesn't. But normally I feel like they're just like a bacteria breeding ground, so I stay away from them at home. I got some shower sandals, a dollar for sandals because camp showers, the. I got some Sephora too. I don't know where they are. Glow sticks. What's camping without glow sticks? Um, this, these are like my memories from camping growing up. I still remember we had a ball that had a glow stick you stuck inside and we played catch in the dark and that's like one of my memories from being six years old. We have a big broom 
but Cora's really latched on to the idea of being a camper helper. And so far, the five minutes we've spent with the camper, she's really wanted to help out and do stuff. We've been talking about being a good helper and how I need her help camping because it's just me and her. So this is a Cora-sized broom and dustpan for those times you just can't wash with soap and water. All right, bag two. Tissues. Three out of the four camping trips I have booked right now are to the beach, so I just picked up some cheap beach toys because I don't care if they get broken and then I don't have to try and dig out her summer stuff. Salt and pepper shaker. I do have an extra salt and pepper Pioneer Women shaker at home, but I realized that glass in the camper is probably just not going to work because it looks like a tornado sometimes after you drive around and everything bounces around if it's not strapped down. So, plastic salt and pepper shaker. I, I had a hard time not buying the entire first aid section of the dollar store because it boggles my mind that you can get hydrocortisone cream for a dollar at the dollar store and go to CVS and it's $8.99. So I wanted to, I, we have like everything you could imagine at our house already, but I want to make like a first aid kit, second kit for the camper so I don't have to remember to pack everything again. So hydrocortisone cream was one of them. I got a pop-up hamper. I don't know if we'll use it, but I saw it in another haul video for Dollar Tree camping hacks, and it might just be handy to have this to throw our stuff in. I don't know why I got this. I have one already for paper clips and um, elastic bands on my desk at home, and this matched the camper colors. I'm sure I can find something to put in there. Again, with the glass thing not really working for the camper, I think a lot of the time in the beginning, at least while I'm getting used to camping, we're going to be doing paper plates and paper cups because you can just throw them in the fire after and not worry about it. But I wanted to have a couple regular cups that we could just like have water in and have them out. So these are plastic, but they look like glass. They're pretty heavy duty. And this I got for a hack I saw on another, I don't know, a website, a Facebook page. Most of the stuff I got, I've been buying new or finding good used condition. I've been struggling with what to do for a, sh a camp shower, so I think most of the time we will probably just be near a shower. We're going mostly to state parks that have bathroom shower facilities, but I got this in case sometime I want to set it up myself because I thought it was funny and cute. You basically get a hula hoop, put shower rings on it and a couple shower curtains and string it up from a tree and then you have your own personal shower and just get one of those solar bags that holds five gallons of water and you have privacy to hose yourself off with. So I have the stuff to do that with should I be so inclined, but I could not find a hula hoop. Go figure, Dollar Tree did not have hula hoops. They had all, it's the middle of July and they had all of their back to school stuff out and very little summer stuff. Hangers. We've got like a closet pantry with a bar across, so I don't know what I'll use these for, but I figured they could come in handy. Waterproof adhesive tape. Since we're doing a lot of swimming and we need to bandage toes up every once in a while. Gauze pads. And our own nail clipper and file for the camper. So I don't have to remember to pack that either. The question will be, can I find all of this stuff when I actually need it? I need a professional organizer to organize the tiny, tiny camper. I was going to say I made it out without buying any school stuff or educational stuff, but that's not true as I opened up this bag. I got a couple of workbooks. They're just Disney themed counting and letters. Um, so they can be a fun supplement to what we're doing school wise. This I got because I saw it on somebody else's channel. I didn't think about it, but it's it's going to be hard to transport eggs without them breaking or taking up too much space and I would have to put them in a cooler to keep them cold since the refrigerator is only going to work when it's plugged in. So someone said just put your crack your eggs and put them in here either whole or shaken up and scrambled and then I can just have a bunch of eggs and squirt out what I need. Ta-da! Add some toppings if we're doing omelets. 
I love that. That might be my favorite thing that I got. Smaller, more Tupperware stuff. Um, I got these for spices or other little doodads or things that I only need tiny bits of, so I don't need to bring whole bottles of everything. Sponges for washing dishes. We do have a sink in the camper. I got some contact paper. Is that what this is called? Adhesive covering, like drawer liner stuffs. Um, the people before us painted the camper, but we are um, basically trying to neaten it up a little bit, so I'll probably put these down so our silverware doesn't stick to the paint. I don't know. We'll see. Microwave cover, so I don't have to clean out the microwave every five minutes. Another Tupperware casserole type container. And all the plastic that I got it is microwave safe and um, BPA free. So I was excited to see that at the Dollar Tree. I got a couple of pot holders because we're going to be cooking on a cast iron pan, a silicone grabby thing, a dish towel. I didn't have, I have a plastic spatula for what I'm using, like our little frying pan on the propane grill, but I didn't have anything to use for hamburgers or something on the actual grill over the fire. Band-aids. Finger paint, because I realize I really hate messes and making messy art projects, and I don't want to project that onto Cora, so we will get a tablecloth down and let her finger paint. Not at camping, but just at home. Um, scrubbies for the cast iron pan. Magic erasers just to clean up the camper a little bit. I got some little sandals for Cora for the shower. They didn't have toddler sizes, but this is probably two sizes bigger than she takes, but it's just to stand on in the shower, so hopefully it's good enough. They had adult pee pads at Dollar Tree. This is a two pack, and we had a stack of them and lost them in the move, and then Cora peed in our bed a couple weeks ago when she was sleeping in there overnight. So we had had these like in her middle spot underneath the sheets. We had just stuck these to the mattress and it had saved us a couple of times. But last time we had to, um, there's another guy walking by, <laughs> watching. My phone got too hot in the dashboard and shut itself off. So I had to cool it off in front of the air conditioner. Anyway, so these pee pads, um, so have saved our mattress a couple of times before and the last time we didn't have one on after we moved and Jeremy had to like steam clean the mattress after Cora had an accident in the middle of the night. So we got a couple of those to keep us up now. Children's Benadryl for our first aid kit. Zyrtec. I take Zyrtec a few times a week. Um, that's a 14 pack so we can just leave that in the camper. Excedrin for when I cheat on keto and get headaches from carbs. A box of matches. I got one of those like lighters on a stick. You know what I mean, the long ones. But better have some old fashioned matches as well. These are just more rings for that $5 shower pack. I got a laundry bag because we can either put our hamper stuff in this for the, for the drive home if it's easier. And someone said it was um, a good way to when you wash your dishes, it's kind of hard to keep them clean camping. Excuse me. So you wash your dishes and throw them in here and tie them up somewhere to dry. And it keeps them clean too. And I got a spritzer bottle. I figured it would be good for, um, I don't know, misting ourselves or something with water. Some organization bins. It was a two pack. They were gray. It matched the camper. I'm sure we can find something to put in there. Um, they had like two packs of silverware and like I'm doing with the um, paper plates and cups I, where you have mostly plastic silverware so it's just easier for me to toss things and we won't have to add like too much dishwashing into the into the routine the first couple of trips but a lot of people said just get a couple of utensils that are like real normal strength utensils for when you know if you have steak or chicken or something you want to cut with an actual knife so I got Two knives, two forks, and two spoons. 
Um, another little basket for organization. We have a shelf up, up the top of the camper. Stuff can go up there. A lot of people recommended a can opener. I would not have gotten this. I don't know that I open many cans. Maybe olives. That's about it. But that'd be a good camping food. Olives. Better to have it than not. Hydrogen peroxide. And a basket. I think it's plastic. The handle is metal and this top rim is metal and this is plastic but it's pretty durable. Um, just a more attractive way to put crap away so that it looks like it's there on purpose and neat and organized. All right, that is my Dollar Tree haul. I'm super excited. The camper um, had some rot in the front that we did not know about when I bought it and I figured it'd be better to take care of it and do it the right way and have it be safe than take chances on the road. So they basically had to take the whole front off, peel the metal down, repair the wood, or replace the wood, put the metal back on. It might be ready tonight to go pick up and then I can get all of my stuff out of the garage and into the camper. Um, I'm excited to kind of test it out. We are storing it on a lot because we couldn't get it up our driveway. So I don't really have anywhere to like plug things in and check electrics, which is what makes me nervous. That's gonna be part of the first test run seeing how electricity works um, but that is it for hopefully most of the junk that I'm getting for the camper I have a couple more things on my list a welcome mat for people to wipe their feet on before they come in the emergency potty solution um, I don't know I've, I've got a list but I will be doing a video of our first camping trip and showing you how it goes. So stay tuned, subscribe, like the channel. If you want to see more that's coming through and get notified, go ahead and subscribe. And I will keep you updated on this camping adventure. Bye!